What's up YouTube? How you guys doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This is Lucas back again with another video for you guys and today I'm taking you behind the scenes on American Ninja Warrior and showing you what it's like to be a course tester. One of the most common questions I get as a competitor on the show is, do you get to try the obstacles before you actually run the course? And the answer is no. Competitors pretty much find out what the obstacles are that day when they arrive. They don't get to try the course at all before. The only people who actually try the obstacles before they start filming through TV are either ATS staff, and ATS is the company that builds the obstacles for Ninja Warrior, or course testers, and that's what I'm doing this season. By now, you already know I did not compete in Miami. This is the first time in my Ninja Warrior career I've not been selected to compete. That was disappointing, but I knew I wanted to make the most of this season regardless, so I decided to be a tester, and that means I get to try the obstacles before the competitors get there, and basically the purpose for that is for producers to see if the obstacles are too hard or too easy. They make minor adjustments leading up to the show. So being a tester, man, it's a really cool opportunity, it's a lot of fun, and I'm super pumped to be out here in Vegas to test for the national finals. Testing is not just for fun, and it's also not just to help the producers decide the difficulty of each obstacle. It's also almost like scouting for producers. Now let me make one thing clear off the bat. If you go out there to test and you smash every single obstacle, you never fall once, that does not guarantee you a callback for the next season. But if you go out there and fail the first obstacle, you can't do anything. That really doesn't look good for you and that hurts your chances of being selected for the next season. So, I'm feeling a bit of pressure right now. In Miami, the video that you guys saw of me testing out there, I failed on Slippery Summit and that was super frustrating for me because that's an obstacle I really feel I could have done. I made a silly mistake. So this is almost like a do or die moment for me in my Ninja Warrior career. You guys know I waited 27 days in Miami to be a walk-on and I didn't make the cut. I didn't get the call this year. There's no guarantee I'll get the call next year, so I've got to perform well. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. It helps my channel a lot. My goal with this video is to get 2,000 likes. So if you scroll down there and you see I don't have 2,000 likes, help me out. That's enough chit-chat. Let's head to the course. Let's go, Kaya. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Double dipper. Yeah. Propeller bar. You guys remember seeing me fail that last year? First group, how you feel, bro? Nervous. Bro, peep the shorts. Pineapple pack. Let's go. Until I die. Let's go. Literally, until I'm dead. I mean, he's got a lot of clothes on. I'm not gonna lie. He knows he's not giving away. He's good. Oh, no! Oh, crap. So you, you caught it match grip. Yeah. And you, um, and you wanted to catch a switch. I did. It just in the moment, I caught it normal. Yeah. And as soon as I wanted to lache, it peeled off. Nick Kostreski, a true icon of the sport. Okay, okay. Not your smoothest work, but I'll take it. from hanging so long on that stupid tire. That was not good. I think you got a dismount on your first swing towards that last tire, and I didn't. I stayed on there. Bad mistake, but that's why we're the testers. We're the dummies for this stuff. Exactly what I did last year. Wow. This is right here. This is for the girls. In the arms of the angel. 
So that wraps up night one of testing. Let's see here. I failed that Jeep run, that stupid tire thing. I think they're gonna make adjustments to that. A lot of people failed that. What else did I fail? I failed the jumping spider. So annoying. I opened up a little too early. Rookie mistake, but most important thing is I cleared the propeller bar. That's all that matters. I wanted my redemption and I got my redemption, so I'm happy. I'm gonna go home, get some rest. I'll be back tomorrow for night two of testing. I'll see you guys there. Here's the deal. We're thinking today we might get full course runs and that right there is for all the marbles because a full course run, it's basically just like running the show. So hopefully we get a full course run tonight. I'm feeling good. Welcome to day two. Let's do it. adjustments they made from yesterday today made it way easier yeah. okay. so okay. the fact that the second tire is now uh, vertical was great and it brought me right to it like I could pinch the last tire with my feet and they asked me to freaking stride it bro oh, he man. came up to me and he said he said Lucas are you comfortable striding it and I out loud said yes but in my brain I was like hell no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> it, felt. it felt great man I got it I'm super happy redemption on that obstacle so there you guys go We are officially done with stage one, and now it's time for stage two. You gonna send it, dude? Whoa! <laughs> Let's go, boys! For the boys! Oh, not so fast. You guys don't get to see stages two and three yet. Those will be in part two of this video. Stage three is right behind me. Stages two and three have not aired on TV yet, so I can't show you all the amazing new obstacles that are gonna be there, but if you hit subscribe, when I put out part two, it'll come right to you. Let's go back to some stage one testing. Check it out. Day three of testing. We were hoping for full course runs yesterday, but the truth is full course runs are tonight. Let's do it. What are you guys doing behind me? All right, guys, that was my full course run. That was the shot I was dying for. You know I don't make excuses. Never make excuses. It is what it is. I fell. I locked it in. I was super happy about that. You guys saw me fail that yesterday. As soon as I got to the plexiglass, my feet started sliding, and she didn't have a good angle of it, but my feet started sliding down, man. Look at that. Sam Sam. It's in the not his fault. The damn course wasn't even clean yet. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. I don't have to make excuses. Sam Sam will explain it for you. It was dusty. It really was dusty. They cleaned it after. And uh, everybody's been clearing it who makes it to that point. So, all right, guys, that wraps up the video. Testing for stage two and three is gonna be in part two. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so that video comes right to you guys. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember, work hard, stay focused, never quit. Peace out.